Hi, I'm Erin. Welcome to my channel. I make digital planners and other various types of artwork. Um, in today's video, I wanted to do a flip through of one of my digital planners. I'm going to show you my sweets planner today. This is the type of planner that I use in my custom cookie um, business and it helped me so much to be able to have everything in one spot. So if you want to see how I did that, uh, continue watching and I'll show you how I customize the planner to help me and how easy it is to move around pages and to make this planner work for you. So today we're going to be looking at some digital planners. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and click on the icon for your GoodNotes app, which will bring you to this. Um, here I'm going to click on the Undated Planner Suites Edition. And here's the cover for this planner, for the Suites Edition Undated Planner. Um, important to know when you X out of your app, when you come back into your planner, it will open up to whatever page you left off on. So if you left off on today's date, that's where it will open up to. If you left off on the cover page, that's where it will open up to again. So it remembers that. So here we have the cover page. And we're gonna scroll to the next page. We have the title page. So I've gone ahead and put my name in here. My handwriting is pretty awful on the iPad. So I tend to utilize the um, text option. Um, this also has a link to all of the custom sections in here. And again, these are all hyperlinked. So you can click on any of these and it will bring you to that month. So we're gonna click on this right here, which will bring us back to the index page, which is page three. So here we have custom sections. So you can use these to customize and use whatever way benefits you the most. You can use it for a recipe section, a client info section, just about anything you can think of. Here we have the year at a glance. We have the index page, which is this page. We have a page for you to um, insert whatever digital stickers you use most often. We have a contact me section, which brings you to a link to all of my various um, pages. So my Redbubble shop, my Society6, my Etsy shop, and you can email me as well. Here we have the extra pages and templates that I've included as part of this particular planner. So you have the blank page, a doc grid, a lined page, a checklist page, journaling pages, and some financial pages. And here we have the order forms that are included in this planner. So we have a cookie order, a cake order, and a general sweets order. Now, there is a shortcut link to these order forms if you go up here. So if you look here, we have this heart button with the little call out symbol. And up here, we have that same as well. So if you click here, it brings you to the order forms. So here we have the custom cookie order, custom cake order, and a custom sweets order form. So what we're going to do now, go back to the index page. Next, we have the year at a glance. This is undated, so you can use this year after year. You can start any time the year you like and make it work for you. You can either add the dates to these if you like or just to um, have as a reference. And again, all of these are hyperlinked. So you can click on August, which is what we're in now, and it'll bring you right to the August calendar. Or you can click on August over here. Now, behind each month, you can add um, weekly planner, so weekly templates, sorry. So August has five weeks in it. So you're gonna take this um, template right here. And if we wanna just continue to use this same weekly template for all five weeks, all you have to do is click this plus current template because that's what we have right here. So it's just gonna duplicate the same one. So we can do this four times. And then we have September. So now we have the five weeks of August. And then you can go ahead and date it. So. I'm going to go ahead and do that now and show you how I do it. If you're in this mode and you don't see that blue toolbar at the top, that means you're in the navigation mode and you can click on all the hyperlinks, but you can't um, put in text or um, 
right in it. So what you're going to do is go up to here to this top right hand corner and this little icon here, click that, and this will bring up this toolbar that you need to edit and input any information. So I am going to go ahead and use my typing tool. And this was the 31st, so here we have August 1st. So I'm going to put a one that is way too big for here. So what we're gonna do is, sorry. and also you can double click to undo. So I'm going to put the one here. There we go. I am going to highlight it and I am going to bring down that size to what I think should work and perfect. So I want to keep typing in that size for right here. So what I'm going to do is type on, click on this little T section for the text tool. And this is at 83 before it was at 200. You just kind of have to play with it and see what works best for you. So I'm gonna click on this T and put set as default, which will save this until I change it to something else. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a two. Okay, so now we have all the numbers placed. If you notice, they're all pretty all over the place. What I like to do is just easiest for me is to input all the numbers first and then I will go in and clean it up and make it look pretty. Okay, and there I have it. Now August has been fully dated on this August uh, cover page, the monthly view. Um, there are so many different ways to date your undated planner. If you would like, I can do a video on that and show you the different ways and ways that I found to make that easier. Um, let me know in the comments if that's something that you're interested in. Now, if you notice here, we have this unused portion at the bottom because I went and put six um, weeks in for each month because some months have where the first starts over here, then the 31st is over here. So I didn't want there not to be a spot. So if you're fine with that, that's cool. If you want to take this away, you can't really erase it because this is in the planner. It's already been pre-designed, put in there, but there is a way around it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your lasso tool on. You're going to take any white, piece or whatever color your planner base is and you're just gonna make a square with a lasso and you're gonna tap that you're gonna hit take screenshot you're going to hit that up sign copy and then you're gonna click right back on here and paste and now that has pasted that white little um, rectangle screenshot that you just made you can then resize it and put it anywhere that you would like to cover up any spot or make any custom section for you. So I am going to go ahead and use it all along the bottom of this page. Now it's important to note that that works basically as a sticker. So 
if you put another sticker or some or typing on there and you want to lasso it to move it you're going to lasso this whole thing so in that case you would want to just hold down on whatever image um let me find a sticker to show you So see, I'm putting this order due here. If I wanna go ahead and move that, I have the lasso tool on, I'm going to lasso that and move it, but see, it's gonna pick up on all the stickers because as of right now, GoodNotes doesn't allow you to lock some stickers into place. It would be a nice update if they do at some point do that. So what you're gonna do, double tap to undo, and instead of using the lasso tool, you can use this tool. You can either click on here, which is your photos um, tab, which just makes it a little easier to edit any type of stickers or photos that you insert into your planner. So I'm going to click on that and now I have the room to be able to do this and I can resize, I can move around, I can do whatever I like and that's not going to move that clear um, white box underneath it. I'm going to get rid of that because I don't need it. So like I said, August is now dated. I can go ahead and date all of the weeks too if I want to do that and an easy way to do that is I'm going to go ahead and lasso all of the dates and I am going to copy. I'm going to go to the weekly page and hit paste. I'm going to make sure I get it to the size that I need. And I see here that I copied that white box. I don't need that. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete. I'm going to make sure these are the size that I want for the date. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm just kind of using this one. Okay, so that first week is one through six. The second week would be the seventh through the 13th. So what I'm going to do is hit cut, go to the second page, paste. We're going to come back and fix that. We're going to go to that third week, cut, paste the fourth week, cut, paste, and the final week, cut, and paste. Now it just works better for me. It's easier to just place them and then fix it and put them nicely after. So the first is on a Monday. So what we are going to do is now we're going to go back into the various weekly ones and I can easily lasso that text box and add the date, the corresponding date to each date box. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing this for the full month of August. And there we have the full month of August it is has all been dated. Once you do this a few times, it gets easier. Um, you get more used to it. I actually kind of enjoy doing it. So it takes a little bit of time when you first start. Um, I like to have everything typed in it 
but if you like to use the text tool and just write in it, it goes actually a lot faster. I would just rather the typing than my handwriting. So now let's set this up for any orders that you might have for August. We're gonna go ahead and click off of the edit mode. So we're gonna hit this little symbol the top right hand corner and we are going to go to our order forms. Now I am going to preload this with a couple of, uh, you can either put a few forms in there at the at once just to make it easier for you or you can add forms as you get orders. So I'm gonna go ahead and put like three custom cookie orders and three cake orders and three sweets orders in here for the month of August. Cause that's what I think I'm going to need for instance. So what we're gonna do is we're on this cookie custom cookie order page right now where you are going to hit these three dots. We're gonna hit copy page and then we're going to go back to August. And now we're on our monthly view. If we wanna put those pages behind this, so in between this page and this page, what we're going to do is hit this little plus sign. Now, if, remember if we hit this current template, it's going to duplicate this page that we're currently on. We don't want that. We want that, paste, that page that we just hit copy. So right here, we're gonna hit paste, which has just pasted this custom cookie order form behind the August page. Now I want two more of these, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign this current template, because that's what we're on, we can duplicate it. So I'm gonna hit that twice. So now we have three custom cookie orders. And we're going to go back to our order templates. We're going to go to the cake one. We're going to hit these three dots again, hit copy page, go back to August. Um, we're gonna put these after the custom cookie order, just because that seems to, that will be what works best for me. So we're going to go to the last custom cookie hit the plus sign, hit paste page. Now, instead of doing the plus and then copy, you can still, cause that's still in your clipboard as a copy page. So you can hit the plus sign and paste page again. Two more times, if that's easier for you. And now we have three custom cake orders and three custom cookie orders. Now we wanna add those sweets orders. So let's go back to this tab, which has our order forms. Go to this custom sweets order. We are going to hit copy page. And now there's another way to do this. If you, um, like if you hit the, these four boxes up here, these are the thumbnails to your entire planner. So if you go up here and if you wanna scroll, you can find the page number that is for August, which looks like it is right here. So as of right now, it's page 19. Once you add, subtract, move around pages, your page numbers might be different from mine. So right now, I'm right here. So if I want to put it behind this last custom cake order, I'm going to click on this little um, down arrow, click that, and I'm gonna put add page after. And we're going to go ahead and paste page. And now that has added a custom sweets order. We're gonna go ahead and add two more of those. And now if we go back to our August cover page, we have now a fully dated August. Scroll to the next page. We have a custom cookie order form. We have three of those. We have three cake order forms. And like I said, if you would rather just input the pages as you get them, you can feel free to do that as well. Whatever works best for you, you might change it up and find one way works better then discover another way works better. And then after these, we have the weeks. Now, say if you have a cookie order that is behind this week, and if you would rather have it behind the weeks instead of the months, you can do that as well, even once you have them in here. So you're gonna go ahead back up to this, these four boxes for the thumbnails for your entire planner. You're gonna find the page you're currently on, which will be highlighted in blue. And right now we're on a custom cake order. We're gonna put that right behind this week. So what we're gonna do we're gonna hold it down and you can move it around to any part of the planner. So that's just an easy way to kind of drag and drop and move pages around. And now we have the week of the 7th through the 13th. We have a custom cake order and then this week. So whichever way works best for you, um, you can do that. Now I'm gonna show you how I would do this 
Um, I don't take any custom cookie orders at this time. I am solely working on this, but I do still do some cookies for extra special clients like my mother. She just ordered some cookies from me a couple of weeks ago. She wanted cookies last week. She was going on a family trip to a uh, function and she wanted some cookies to bring along. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that again to be able to go into the edit mode and write and type. You have to make sure that this is toggled on and then you have all of these up here that means you can go ahead and use those and type and add so I'm going to hit the typing client we're gonna put mom um, contact info I can put her phone number I'm just gonna leave that blank for now um, I think I gave her 15 cookies uh, the due date we're just going to make something up here because it's for the future. So we're going to say August 17th. Price, let's just put in $50. Theme, um, pigs, because that was what I ended up making for her. And you can resize this. It can be super um, detailed or however you would like to do it. I like to have things kind of as big as the box so that I can easily see. You can also change the color if that makes it easier for you as well. So flavor, we're gonna go make sure we're on that text box. Hit vanilla. The cutter I used was this cute pig face from a shop called Lady Milkstash. She's one of my favorites. And for this order, I did just one cutter, but if you have an order that has a lot of different shapes, you can go ahead and list them on here if you have any notes. And she picked up and confirmed we're gonna go ahead and put invoiced and paid we're going to say that we haven't done the rest yet okay then what I would do is I this is again how I personally worked and what worked the best for me I would go to the monthly view I would take one of my um, stickers let's see let's find one We have these just general basic order due ones. So I can go ahead and just pick one of those. I have some more detailed ones as well. So I'm going ahead and copy, go back over here. We put that, that was due on the 17th. So I'm gonna go to where it shows the 17th here and I'm going to hold down my Apple Pencil, hit paste, resize that to what's best for this box. And I am going to put the details over here. So put, I'm gonna put 15 cookies. I'm gonna resize that in a bit. Pigs, mama. So whatever details you need that makes it easiest for you. Okay, so now when I go to look at my monthly view for August, it's really easy to see, oh, I have an order due here on the 17th. I can't take any more orders for that day. So 
what I what else I would do is I would go ahead and just lasso this entire order due sticker because this is more of just like an overview so I can look and see okay clearly this has a, a sticker on it this means I have an order so I'm gonna hit copy and then I am going to scroll through and get to the week of the 17th oh that's right I put this cake order in between I'm going to paste this and then I can and if you see we accidentally lassoed that 17 also so I can just delete that but now in my weekly view it's a little bigger I can see it better I have order due and all the info that I put over there because I copy pasted it it's right here for me as well and then one of the things that I really like with this is once everything has been done you can go through and do the checklist if you already designed it dough made icing made it's been baked it's been decorated it's been photographed it's been packaged it's been picked up and then what i'd like to do is insert a photo of the final set so this is a photo of the pig cookies that i did so I'm going to go ahead and resize that and put it right here inside of this little Polaroid um, spot. So photographed, and then once I post this on my Instagram, Facebook, whatever, I can go ahead and click or check off, post it online. A lot of times I, I don't post, um, I wouldn't post cookies, cupcakes, cakes, whatever, until after the event has happened because I don't want to show anything before my client has been able to um, present the cookies to the guest, to their recipient. So sometimes it's been a couple of weeks, couple of days, and I haven't posted the picture yet. I want to make sure they were able to post pictures first. So then I can go ahead and scroll through my pages and see easily that wasn't checked off I need if I want to have something to post to my social media I can say oh okay I haven't posted these yet I'm gonna post these go ahead check that off this is done okay so I hope that helped a little bit um, if there's any other questions or something else that you would like to see with planning let me know in the comments um, if you would like to subscribe to the channel so that you can see any future videos. That would be great. Um, and that's it for today. Thanks for watching.